Hello everybody, my name is Radar 299 and today I'm going to be playing some Minecraft. Uh, I'm currently in my private Minecraft server, Nick's Survival, and today in this video I'm hoping to build a few things. I want to build a villager breeder, an iron farm, like a small one, as well as a, some sort of start on a villager training hall. Hopefully getting some diamond armor, because I only have iron right now, so that would be nice. So, I'm going to start gathering resources for the village reader. Okay, so, I need some cobblestone. Okay, I guess I need to go mine slab then. Slabs, two composters, two fence gates, four beds, some buckets, and a lightning rod. Okay, oh, oh, while this is still smelting, I'm gonna go work out where I'm gonna place it and then put down the, the water source. Maybe I should flatten out this area here and just build the, it here. Yeah, I, no, I think that'll be good. Let's go. chopping down an entire hill is I want an efficiency shuffle. Okay, I'll see if this is big enough. I might have to flatten out the ground with some dirt, maybe. So I need a nine by nine area, so the the ground won't be raised, but it's just counting. So this is this is the area, so this is this is fine. Alright, so I need to put some water down. Um, and I guess I'll just do a building time lapse. <laughs> So I'm just going to quickly build a thing that lets the villagers out, but except for that, almost completely done. So here you can look at how many villagers are in here and activate the rail system, which is pretty nice. Okay, now I need to craft some powered rails. So what the idea is, is you'll press this button, a powered rail will go through this trapdoor, slurp up all the villagers from in here, and then continue on. I've got the resources I need. I should be able to build this thing now. I've got loads of stuff. Now I want to make powered rails. Boom. So now I just do that. Boom. So I should start work on the next thing, which is a iron farm. So I'm thinking I could build the iron farm just here. I, it would fit here. So I think I'll just build it here. 
yeah, so I'm, I'm using a ski, a lightmatica to get a schematic of it. Yeah, you can see there is what it will look like. Okay, so this is kind of the place it's gonna take up. Most of it, most of the area is just spawn proof. It's not actually that big. Um, yeah, so I'll start building. And you can see the way my original design works. Okay, so I fixed the the villager breeder. You can actually hear a little baby villager that's in here somewhere. Ow. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. So once we've got six villagers out of the villager breeder, you can then plop them into the iron farm. So I actually have a special guest with me. Uh, he, he's getting orange juice right now. He'll be back soon. What was happening is they couldn't... They didn't think they could get to these beds, so they were trying to breed and it's not working. And and here he is now, the the Hello. Boy. Do you have your orange juice now? No, I, I decided to get you to Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so he's gonna log on the server soon. I want to do the zombie last because it's the most annoying. Oh look, they're breeding! They're breeding! Look, there's a baby now. And the baby, if you watch him tries to go down here to bounce on the bed, falls into this pit where it then waits in a pool of water until it grows up. Uh, this, mm. Yeah, so I, like I said earlier, um, oh look, he's joined. But like I said earlier, uh, this design is by Ray Wor Ray Ray's Works. I will link it in the description. It's an extremely good design, and I would make my own one, like I do with most of my farms, but there's, there's nothing really to improve. It's very simple. Okay, so I'm just... I the, the night thing is so annoying. I'm just gonna pull it over with a lead instead. That'll be much easier. I've got three villagers in one of the cells. So, all of the villagers are in, right? All we need is a zombie, right? I'm going to die, but that's fine. So I'm gonna build a staircase up to where the, the zombie will go. All right, so, okay. so uh, let, allow me, allow me. Oh, it's attracted on me. Yeah. Hey! Hey, it's attracted on me now. Alright, follow me, follow me. Yep, I've built this wall here so you can't escape. And then I go over here, and then you're like, oh, I can get him. <gasps> no, you can't, you're stuck in the boat. And an iron golem's already spawned, and it's working. Let's go. Okay, so, yeah, so we got an iron farm going. That's so cool. Villagers are so useful because not only can you trade with them, get the trades ridiculously low and scam them of all their earnings, you can also make infinite iron. And so now you can see, this will keep generating. So, uh, when I do an, do more recording tomorrow, um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it on so it will run overnight. So, next, next time I record, next time you see me, uh, in the vid. So it'll just be a cut for you, but for me it'll be an entire day. Um, I'll have a bunch of iron in the iron farm, so that'll be nice. Okay, so I've just got back from leaving my PC on overnight. And so the iron farm's been running. The villager breeder, as you probably heard, has a, a, a few villagers in there. Just, just a few, just a few villagers. Um, 
and the iron farm has loads of iron in it. Got loads of iron. Now that is, that's one night on this not very efficient iron farm. So that's really good. So that means the iron farms are working, so it's Villager Breeder. So now, uh, Pengu Gen 2, we need to start working on the Villager Trading Hall. Right, Hi. start out by flattening the area. So now this is all flat, let's start building. I'll kind of do like a foundation sort of. This will be one corner. Like this is gonna be this is gonna be huge and multi-layered. So So now I just need to move all of the villagers up this hill up there using this railway system. I've got quite a few rails. Uh, let's do that. Okay, I got the first villager in. He's sitting in his minecart. I'm gonna go get a blast furnace, furnace so he becomes an armor of villager because he trades nothing. Okay, so I've set up all of these stick villagers. They all give one stick for one emerald, and I can trade with each villager up to 16 times. And as there are 12 here, that means three stacks of emeralds every roughly 10 minutes before they restock, which is extremely good. Um, I started building a, a beacon over here. I, I did not spend very long to get all of those emeralds and they're just that yeah so now all I need is the villagers that actually give me the stuff I want like armor and tools so I'll do that now okay so I've got some villagers now I, I, I haven't cured them or anything yet so this guy sells me full diamond armor there's not good enchantment so I'm just gonna get librarians and then then disenchanter using this and then so I've got hoe and pick. So this guy sells me axe and shovel. This guy sells me the the sword. Pretty cool. So now all I need to do is get these guys' trades lowered and some librarians. Okay, so I've set up a ton of villagers in this area. And I think that's going to be the end of this video. So here I've got a bunch of masons selling all kinds of terracotta and stuff. Um, we got loads of uh, librarians and we got the stick villagers and we got the diamond armor so we made quite a lot of progress with the episodes we got a uh, beacon we've got villager breeder the iron farm yeah so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed see you later